I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Look at this golf club just sitting here. Who would just leave this? This is like a $60 golf club. You're gonna have those at the flea market this weekend? Would you sell them right now? Yeah, I sure would. What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. And I'm Haley. Tornado, I guess. Haley Tornado, she guesses. It's cute, I love it. We're here at the Goodwill Bins again today. They just opened up. We're always last in line, so I don't think of that'll course. matter. Uh, we're gonna go see what they got today. And we got, I don't know, like 10 or 11 things that we sold yesterday on eBay. So we gotta go home after that and get all those packed up and taken to the post office. So it should be a fun vlog for you guys today. Stick around. I did bring my chest harness today, so I'll be able to use two hands as we dig through the bins. Look at this golf club just sitting here. Somebody. It's it's Nike pitching wedge. Who would just leave this? This is like a sixty dollar golf club. I don't know. Why would they just leave it here? Okay. So is that your golf club out there? What? Somebody left a Nike pitching wedge just sitting out there on the ground. It's like it a, was. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't know. Wonder what this is. So intense. We got a roller. Look at those. There's not Fitbits, they're just the replaceable bands, but this helps. Look at these black conductor batteries. And there's the charger. Definitely get that. Sorry. A lot of people here today. Look at this. You can get in here. Some Gamecock socks. Not worth a ton, but I'll get them. Some quick joy golf shoes here. Let's see if we can find the other one. This. Yeah, those are Doc Martens. So we got two shoes we're looking for. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. That is freaking sick, man. Okay, where the shoes go? <laughs> Just set them down for a second. These are pretty bald. I guess I'll still get them. They're only gonna be like a dollar. Dollar or two dollars. Have you seen this one anywhere? No. If you find it, just let me know. So Haley and I are going to Los Angeles next week for a YouTube conference, and I think this hat will look really good on her. I'm gonna get that. Find anything good? Not really good. Yeah. Did you get anything? Uh, I got this Bulls jacket. Okay, yeah. I don't know the brand. It's a uh, Unk. But this looks pretty, pretty cool. Somebody yeah. Buy it. yeah, it's, yeah. it's got Bulls spell on the back. Oh, it's got a rip. Just saw that. What do you think? Is it worth getting it fixed? Shouldn't be hard. It's like a little sewing. I mean, if you're gonna do it yourself, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Worth it. Haley, I got you something. A hat to wear to LA next week. Oh. <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Nikki. That's cool. Look at these. Size six. Nah, they're too dirty. I would only get Converse, like basic Converse, mm -hmm. if they're like really clean already. Because even if even if they're in like perfect condition, they're still gonna sell for like. 25 bucks or so. This pair of Jordans right here. They look like, oh no, they're peeling on the bottom, falling apart. I think they're just mall Jordans anyway. I don't think they're one of the uh, numbers, but they're in pretty good condition other than completely falling apart. <laughs> I found this, and there's also this boot. This is a Skechers hiking boot, which is also falling apart. Never mind. Oh, what is that? Nike shocks, which is <laughs> also falling apart. Ugh. 
outside there's a Nike pitching wedge just I'm sitting on the ground. Like it's just sit there, yeah. I don't know. But I'm like, I'm not, that's like a $60 club. I'm not gonna just leave it there. I wonder if I should just bring it in and say, make an announcement if nobody claims it. Yeah. I'll get it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. that. I'm, it's gonna, I'm gonna be thinking about that all day if I don't. Haley, can you wash my bag for one second? Where are you going? I'm going to go get the golf club from outside and tell them to make an announcement. If nobody claims it, I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Oh, somebody got it. These look kind of cool. I guess I'll get this. Somebody may be wanting to like restore their house or something or make it look old. These don't have the plate screws, but I'll get them. More hats over here. Net jet. It's really cool. Denim Steelers hat starter. That is dope. Really dirty, but should clean up. Got a little Bose hat right here. That's kind of interesting. It's in really good shape. Oh, some strings are pulling. Might pass on that. It's got a Southern Tide belt. Look at that. Everything's so freaking cheap, man. A lot of ties, a lot of Craftsman suspenders. This might be pretty good. That's the best I hope you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is like the sixth pair I've seen falling apart today. Oh, those are awful. Folks, at some point, it's just okay to throw away shoes. You don't always have to donate them to Goodwill. Oh yeah, those are pretty good. I, th yeah, I have a, the same pair. They probably were donated by the same person because they have the exact same wear on them. I got these. The same with the yeah, heels. Same, what size is it? This is... 10. Mm. Oh, oh wait, there it is. Yeah, 10. Yeah, same, size. same person. Look at there. These suspenders. Trafalgar. I might take a chance on these. I've seen some people sell suspenders for some pretty good money. Wells Fargo Championship. That doesn't have a date on it, so that's really good. We'll get that. Boston Red Sox hat. And today is just the day of the day of hats here. I want to look up these suspenders. The brand is Trafalgar, Trafalgar, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 733 listed. 636 sold. Wow. Let's do filter condition pre owned. 508, 509 pre owned sold. Yeah, dude, these are awesome. I guess it depends on the material and stuff, but... 19, I mean, these are pretty silk and leather. That's probably what this is. Look at the material tag. $100 limited edition. 27. Those look just like this one, except this is green and white and this is blue and white. These sold for 27 plus shipping. Yeah, you definitely get those. Suspenders, who knew? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I just had a nostalgic moment. I oh yeah, those foam pieces. Are they they're wood? Called, um, Pattern blocks? No, they're called... What was it? Shapies? Pen, pen, I think they're called shapies. Pen, pen, pentominoes? Yeah. Pentominoes. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. There's a whole set of them. Uh, I don't know. I have to look those up. My knowledge is nothing on those. A little Adidas duffel bag? That's cool. It's perfect for me because I've been I, all of my all of my duffel bags are big. I didn't check the zipper. Looks like condition. it works. Yeah, we'll get that. I'll carry it for you, and we can fill it up with junk too. Um, I just found this Scooby Doo tie, and I thought it was cute. That's cute. We can get that Scooby Doo branded. Oh, I see some UGG boots in there. They're a little worn. Yeah. 
I don't know, the soles are pretty much gone on this. But good find, good find, solid. Oh, Merrill's? Those look good. It's not that bad. They're only gonna be like two bucks. Soles are still good. Look at this. Oh, these are splitting. They're what? Splitting. Are those Timberlands though? Yeah, the soles are splitting. Oh. Rainbow flip flops? Those actually look to be in really good shape for rainbows. Usually they're super worn. Look at this. Dance goes. So a common problem with dance goes is that they start peeling along this little ribbon thing here. Okay. And I don't They're bad. I mean, I don't know. We're only like a dollar. No, it's fine. I'll get them. No, you don't have to get them. We have a lot of shoes. We do have a lot of shoes, but these are, I mean, the bottoms are in good shape and people may not care about that ribbon. That's the, the first thing to go on dance goes is that little side piece right there. So, but other than that, they're in good shape. Brown leather, we'll get them. What else? That's it. Okay, that's it. I don't think we should get the blocks. No, I don't think so either. I mean, they're cool, but I don't think there's any value. That's okay. We'll leave them for somebody to use for homeschool or something. Yeah. Do you want to keep looking or are you done? Oh, I see that box over there. We just sold that pair of Timberlands today, and they're the Timberland Pro. We could use that box to ship them in. I can get it. Now's a good time to show you guys my new shoes. Shout out Haley for letting me buy a new pair of these. Okay. You can grab that. The box is very beat up. It's fine. I just need something to ship them in, and that's very appropriate. not want to mess up my shoes so I did all that work and then the box is broken in the bottom I guess we could just tape over it, I don't think it's worth it. yeah maybe not I don't, they're like a $60 pair of boots I don't want to ship them in a broken box just found this tie I'm not a hundred percent sure what's on there southern proper Atlanta Georgia is a pretty good brand I think it's peanuts I think it's supposed to be peanuts I'm gonna go ahead and get it what's that on one the <laughs> an animal one. Oh, little giraffes, giraffes, camels, and elephants. I'll get the animal one and the peanut one. Those are cool. You ready down here? All right. Excuse me, sir. I like your hair. All right. It should be all, for the most part, just clothing and shoes and stuff. Is that for me? Thank you. That is so nice. Fifteen twenty. Sounds good to me. Here. Thank you, ma'am. You too. I think we got rang up wrong last time because this all this stuff was only fifteen twenty, and last time we paid like twenty five bucks. Oh yeah. I feel like something went wrong. You're gonna have those at the flea market this weekend? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, you doing them online? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I wouldn't clean them. Yeah, those are awesome. Would you sell them right now? Yeah, I sure would. I don't know if I have cash. My, my, um, my, um, hey, somebody else looking at my phone is up in the car. Let's see. I got, I'll, let's, what's the code say? Ready for it? 317-891. 317-891. Dash. 181. Those look pretty good. I know. I just I left my phone in the car, but somebody else looked wrong. Those are listed. Okay, let's see if they're actually selling. Three sold. Pre-owned 185 with the authenticity guarantee. What size are they? 10. Oh, that's my size too. <laughs> Give me $20 you can have. $20? Are you serious? Yeah. I don't have time to clean them up. I can't say no to that. Put Here, I'll give you I'll give you a couple extra too. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Now, now I gotta talk her into letting me keep them instead of selling them. I know, right? Thank you. So that was definitely a great stop at the Goodwill Bins. I don't know if something was off today or something was off last time, but both, the last time we came Wednesday was half off day and today was half off day. Wednesday we paid like 25 bucks for a bag this size and then today we paid 15, 20. So that's crazy. Well, I paid 15, 20 plus the $20 we pay for these shoes, which they're, I mean, they're clearly used, but I mean, they just look awesome. Jordan, I don't know what numbers these are. They look like ones, but um, US men's size 10. 
this is super cool. Those are gonna clean up really nice. I mean, you guys saw all the stuff we got, all the shoes, all the hats. We could make all of our money back, 15 bucks back, just on one of those cool hats that we found. This is just, it's crazy. Love the Goodwill bins. So we're gonna go ahead and go in the regular Goodwill over there, see if we can find any more stuff, because clearly we need more items. That's not a huge problem for our business right now, running out of space or anything. I don't know if I still have like marks around my face, but I was playing Oculus this morning, like virtual ping pong. And it's just, if you don't know, it's like a thing, you like put the goggles on, it's virtual reality. And when you play ping pong on there, and you play a match online, it just pairs you with like a random person. And my username on Oculus is Harry Tornado. And I didn't have my mic turned on. So when I started playing with this guy, this guy was like, oh, Harry Tornado, I follow a guy with that name on YouTube. <laughs> so I turned my mic on, I was like, what's up, man? And he was like, yo, it's Harry Tornado. <laughs> so I played ping pong with him for like an hour this morning. So like, so I still have, all the, the sweat and red marks on my face, probably. This is why we were late to the bins as well. Yeah, I couldn't stop playing <laughs> with my new new friend. But uh, it was fun. We showed up late and still found all that stuff. Let's see if we can find some more. Midwell shoes. Oh, Midwell. Really good like condition. leather flats. Yeah. A little wear on the toe. Those are awesome. Got some Skechers D-Lights. A little too bald on the bottom. Let's go see if we got any hard good action back here. Broken Xbox controller, of course. Goodwill staple. That's right. Did y'all find anything next door? Um, I found some snake boots. Snake boots? Awesome. That's a good yeah, find. Down there where I'm at, a big rug down in Georgia. Yeah, absolutely. Probably paid about $2 for them. Sell them for close to 100 I imagine. I think so. Yeah, that's awesome. I just, I never really got, and I mean, I tried to sell coffee mugs and stuff when we first started reselling, and they just, usually they're over 16 ounces, so they have to be shipped priority. And I just haven't really found any that are worth it, that people are willing to pay, you know, for the coffee mug plus, um, you know, plus shipping. So I don't know. For the most part, we pass on coffee mugs unless they're very, very nice. I found this pair of leggings just sitting up here. They are Athleta, size large. I don't know why they're sitting up there though. They look to be in good shape. I don't see anything wrong with them. Those are good. Check it out. A little Coogee, Coogee, Coogee Australia, Australia shirt. I think it's from Australia. Got all the buttons. Since 1969, what does the back look like? It's pretty solid. It's gonna be $4.75. We'll get it. I'll carry this one since you well, carried the last thing I got. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Good, Sammy. Good, I'm good. Thank you, ma'am. So crazy that we spent more here at the regular Goodwill on this one bag of stuff, the, on three things than we did yeah. at the bins. That's why I freaking love the bins so much. Jeez, it's crazy. And sometimes not worth it, but sometimes it is. So we, I say we, Haley got out in the yard yesterday and started pulling all these weeds over here. I told her not to, but she did it anyway, and it's looking really good. But I wanted to give you guys an update on our blueberry bushes over here. If you remember, I don't even, it was like five, four or five months ago, I told you guys about these. We were so excited that we would finally have blueberries because we planted these last year. And so we're supposed to have some blueberries this year. We did. I had one singular blueberry on this bush uh, that was edible. Everything else was either eaten by birds or just not not big enough or whatever so hopefully over the next couple of years these will continue to grow and bloom into a healthy blueberry farm i wish we would have got a third one because the third one looks so good right there i think that's what, that was our plan yeah oh oh look look <laughs> oh gosh there's two blueberries <laughs> all right do you want the big one or the little one whichever one you want oh i guess i'll take the little one no. <laughs> Here comes Molly's to the rescue. It's actually, it bad? it's actually horrible. <laughs> Was, is it good? Uh -uh. <laughs> Don't mess up my shoes now. Turn around. <laughs> He's like, turn around and jump and get the stick. I'll do everything. What's the bug look like? No, I think it's just a carcass. Oh yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's a carcass, it's the shell. It's a shell of a locust. Oh, get that away from me. Locusts, they like hook onto stuff, usually trees, and then they they get out of their shell and then leave their shells behind. And then you can clip them to your clothing. Pretty, pretty cool. We have a lot of locusts around here. Hey, Mose. Love you so much. Oh, I got to show you guys the update on the hot water heater. 
or the water heater, not a hot water heater. So this is the drain pipe for the current water heater. So our little nook in the garage where all of our stuff is stored all this right on the other side of this wall. So we're going to take out the old water heater and put the new one on the outside of the house right here. So we're just going to run the pipe, you know, all the, the whatever inner workings of the water heater out here. We're gonna, they said they're going to put like a little pedestal stand here and like put it inside of a box mounted on the side of the house. So we're not going to go um, tankless because we don't have natural gas and the electric ones take too much electricity. But we are going to have a newer one with slightly higher capacity for water uh, and have it put out here. So we'll have that whole nook in the garage for extra space, which I am super excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these orders packed up. I'm just gonna do first person today, GoPro strapped to my chest. We've got uh, 16 things going out, which is really good for a Thursday in sales. Let's go ahead and see what our first item is. Let's see. It's a vintage Budweiser hat. We sold it for 30 bucks, free shipping. This is one of the hats we got in the lot from Rally Roots. Um, should be, oh, should be right down here in the S bin. Again, 30 bucks free shipping or shipping included. It's gonna be, cost about $4 to ship out. So really nice sale there. Next thing is over here in the X file. Oh, excuse me, let's go, go right ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, and it's a CD. We picked this up in Utah. I uh, went and met up with uh, Hustle at Home Mom and uh, Osborne to Thrift, Tim. I think I paid like 25 cents for this. I don't, this is the Christ song of music, whatever, I don't know. Uh, it sold for 15 bucks, free shipping. This actually sold to a viewer of the YouTube channel, I think, named Brian. Brian from Port Charlotte, Florida. So Brian, thank you so much for your support. Hope you enjoy it, the CD. Next item is over here in the C bin. Got it take it down to get in here this is a jacket that Haley you found this in the back closet didn't you yeah it's been uh, we've had it it's, been, like, <laughs> it's been a while year, two years yeah is this a hair Almost tie it. yeah oh okay that's very intuitive I just use I mean it didn't fit in our bags yeah this is uh this is a sonic employee jacket sonic the restaurant like you know sonic sonic drive-in uh, I got this at the Goodwill bins probably a year and a half ago and I got really lazy and I didn't want to list it so I just put it in the back closet and then Haley did some cleaning and found it back there and got it listed and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping which is not bad because I got it at the bins it was probably about two bucks or so next time is back here in our boot box because we can't think of a better way to store boots I'm set it down right there for a second and the other one should be right here this is a pair of Timberland Pro log boots these are the boots i was telling you guys about at the bins earlier when we found that box these are super like heavy duty we paid 20 bucks for these at our uh, local thrift store not goodwill uh, and these sold for 60 dollars plus shipping next time is this little mickey mouse hat back here it's got mickey on it with 28 i don't know what that means but i thought it was interesting looking it's a disney parks original uh this sold to wallace from winter garden florida and he paid ten dollars free shipping it's going to cost about every uh, probably three dollars and fifty cents or so uh wallace i appreciate it uh again if you guys um hang on let me take the gopro off for this we absolutely appreciate when you guys buy stuff from our ebay store or poshmark closet but if you want to send us a message on ebay when you buy the item make sure you put the message with the purchase. I have a lot of people that send us messages before they buy the item or after they buy the item, and we don't have a way on eBay to see that message when we pull up the order. So uh, I'm sorry if you bought something from us in the past and we haven't given you a shout out. Uh, if we like showed your item and didn't know it was you, it's just if we don't have that message that comes along with the purchase, we don't have a way to, to match those up. So just let you know, again, appreciate you guys. Love you so much. So many people are buying stuff from us lately. We're definitely grateful for that. Uh, just let you know when to when the appropriate time is to send that message. Next thing is up here in this C bin. Again, I guess I should just leave this down. It's a, uh... yeah. This is the, yeah, this is the one, the Bud Light, Nike Golf Bud Light Polo. Haley found this at Goodwill the other day for $4.75, and it sold for $17 free shipping. It's going to cost probably like 3 or $4 to ship it out, so not too bad, making over $10 in profit on a pretty basic polo. That's, that's right, yeah. You, we, we got that at the, the smaller thrift store. That was only a dollar because we, we didn't get that at Goodwill. We got that at the little small church thrift store. So a dollar into that to sell for 17 free shipping. So making even more money. Next item is right here in the Q bin and it's one of the hats we listed yesterday. One of the Carhartt ones that we picked up in the last video. Uh, we had two of these and this is the one with the Turbonomic uh, embroidered on the back, but this one sold for $10.99 plus shipping. I don't know if this sold to a viewer or not because again, somebody sent us a message about it or like through email or something, asked if we had them. So mm -hmm. uh, this person was named Ramona from Newcastle, Delaware. So Ramona, if you're a viewer of the channel, we definitely appreciate the support. And if you're not a viewer of the channel, Ramona, what are you doing? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Let's get it going. Here is a perfect example. This guy, Steven Mask, uh, sent a message when he bought the items. Now we get to see the item that sold along with the message. Now it's easy for us to 
to link these two together. He said, hey, I've been a subscriber for a while. Love your videos and I watch your vids to get tips on reselling and they are entertaining. Just went to my first Goodwill Ben's outlet and scored. Just want to say thanks and keep up the amazing content. Heart emoji, Stephen Mass. Stephen, thank you so much. He bought one of our Babe Ruth posters for $9.99 free shipping. Uh, these are, we got literally 148 of them for $9 uh, and they're going to cost about $3.50 to ship out. So Stephen, thanks so much for support. We appreciate it. This next item is right here in the A bin. I've already pulled it down and it's this very women's sweater and this is an old listing guys i've probably had this listed on ebay for maybe two years or so i didn't think it was ever going to sell and we finally got a message from a person i don't know if they were viewing the youtube channel but they were very very nice and they asked us if we could iron it like if it was able to be ironed and i was like i don't know i guess you could try uh but she was super nice she uh went ahead and bought it i think she sent us an offer of 34.99 plus shipping we definitely accepted that because it's been listed for like I said, about two years or so. Um, again, I don't know if she was a viewer, but her name's Courtney from Ridgeland, Mississippi. So Courtney, thank you so much for your support. Hope you enjoy the Sperry jacket. Next up is a baseball bat. This is one of the ones we picked up at the first big yard sale I went to with my friend Wyatt, Rewilded Reselling. Uh, it's brand, I think it's this one. We got a bunch of these. I think we got like eight bats total that were all brand new for like 50 bucks. Uh, so I don't even know what, what that equals to. I think this is the right one. It's the Easton S200. Uh, this is the Easton S200. I believe this is it. I'll double check before we ship it out, but uh, probably, I don't know, eight bats for 50 bucks, however much that is. And then we sold this one for $17 plus shipping. These were new with tags, but they were just Walmart bats. Um, like you see the original price right there is $29.97. So, um, you know, we've definitely sold a lot and made a lot of, made a lot of money, but these aren't the highest quality bats that we've ever found. Next time's over here in the V bin. Another one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I did to drop all of our golf clubs. It's fine, it's fine. V-Bin, let me get down low here. Don't mess anything up. This is one of our Narwhal Wine Stoppers. Picked up a bunch of these at Goodwill, like 24, 25 of them for probably 25 cents a piece. This one sold for $11. Free shipping It's gonna cost uh, about $3 to ship out. This sold to a viewer named Bambi from Weeki Wachi, Florida. Cool name, cool city. Thanks for the support. We actually sold another one of our Elf Narwhal things. We still have like 10 back there left, but this is another one. I don't know if this one sold to a viewer, but this one sold for full price, $12.98 free shipping. Again, it'll cost about $3 to ship out. Next item is one of these Willow Tree figures. We actually got um, like 16 of these at the flea market the other day. Uh, it wasn't in a video, but we paid... We got 16 of these and like two pairs of DeWalt earbuds and like a couple hats for like $160. We probably paid about six or seven dollars a piece for these or, or per item or something like that. Uh, and this one sold for $16 plus shipping. Uh, these are pretty good, especially if they have the original box. This one doesn't, none of the ones we had had the original box. Original price was 40 bucks. Uh, so, you know, I think it's, I think it's a pretty good sale there. We'll get this bubble wrapped up and shipped out. And uh, we have... I think we've sold like five or six of them so far. Mm -hmm. So we still have uh, about 10 left, I think. Maybe Next item's over here in the D bin. There's some, uh, you said joggers over there? Mm -hmm. Joggers that Haley found at Goodwill. This is one of the, I guess, first clothing pieces that I listed. Okay, so. cool. Nicole Miller. It's a, it's a decent brand. Those are in, oh yeah, this is one of the first because you were using these yeah, bags yeah. we had <laughs> left over. And that one, so you got it at Goodwill and it's sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. Not too bad. So the rest of the items we have going out today are all shoes. One pair sold on Poshmark. It's this pair of New Balance shoes that are like pinkish, pinkish orange or whatever. I think they're, yeah, they're definitely pink. They're right here. Got these at Goodwill for $6.50 and they sold on Poshmark for $25 plus shipping. So we're gonna make $20 after Poshmark fees. Next up are these right here. These are some Brooks, I think Ravenna, Brooks Ravenna running shoes. Decent condition, nothing, Nothing too crazy. These aren't super valuable and they're also missing original insoles. So we listed these for I think $35 free shipping and somebody sent us an offer of 32 free shipping last night. We went ahead and accepted that probably, I think, I think we got these at Goodwill, maybe $6.50 and it's probably gonna cost about $10 to ship them out. So maybe making like 12 bucks or so in profit. The last pair of shoes we have going out today, I think are still in this bin over here. This is what we were using with our last couple of pairs. Yeah, they're right back here. This is the pair of New Balances, the 4H. I don't even know what they are. We got these in the flea market two videos ago. Paid 25 bucks for these, and they're super clean. All we did was take pictures and list them. They sold for $35 plus shipping. Not a ton of profit, but when I buy stuff, when I like pay up for shoes at the flea market, I kind of treat it like retail arbitrage. Like if I can spend $25 to make 10, that's 
like a 40% ROI, like that's, that's kind of worth it if you were doing retail arbitrage. So that's my thought process on paying up for these types of shoes at the flea market. So we got all the orders packed up and shipped out earlier. I don't think there was anything super interesting enough to show you guys how we ship it. It was mainly clothing and shoes. Today, clothing goes in a poly bag first class. Shoes go in a priority mail shoe box. Pretty boring stuff. So our total gross sales amount for yesterday with all the, I think, 15 things from eBay and the one thing from Poshmark was $413.93. That's not how much we made. That's our total gross sales amount. So let's go through the numbers here. Four thirteen. 93 we first have to take out our ebay fees or all of our fees total which would be about 53 dollars roughly then we have to take out our total shipping costs for all 15 or 16 items we had going out today which was hundred dollars and 24 cents then we have to take out our total cost of goods this is what we actually spent on the items to buy them to sell them uh, and that was about $68 roughly, give or take, you know, five bucks or so. And that would leave us with a total net profit of $192.69 just from what we sold on eBay and Poshmark yesterday. We do have to pay income taxes on this amount, which would, we usually save about 25%. So I think that's like 40 or $45 of this would be saved for taxes, but the rest is pure profit. So that's a pretty good breakdown for you guys to see, you know, actually, actually the money that we make keep in our pocket after one pretty solid day of selling stuff online. So it's the very next day and I realized that I never filmed a conclusion from yesterday's video. So I want to show you guys these shoes. Haley actually started cleaning them yesterday and got them pretty clean. She was just using a little grout brush and some uh, OxyClean Max Force stain remover and maybe a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on the soles. But I mean, they're looking pretty good. Obviously used, you know, they have obvious signs of use, but no major issues. I mean, the soles look good. I mean, a little bit of wear up there on the toe, but nothing too, too bad. I think the only issue I see is that this one, the... The left shoe has a little bit of a scuff right there in the paint, but other than that, these are pretty solid. I may wear them a little bit, um, you know, because they are my size, but uh, I don't know if I like the orange and black personally. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know if it's something I want to wear continuously for a long period of time. So I may wear them once or twice uh, and then get them listed on eBay. But you guys saw the solds earlier. I mean, not a lot of solds, but in used condition, these are selling for around 150 bucks. So uh, I'll send some pictures to some uh, sneaker heads on Instagram, like the ATL Flipper and other guys that I use to to help verify the authenticity of shoes. But uh, I think for 20 bucks, this was a solid, solid pickup. Also, last night I went to the movies with my brother-in-law and we saw the new Marvel movie, Shang, Shang Chi, Shang Chi, Shang Chi. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but it was awesome. I highly recommend it. If you want to go to the movies and, and see a cool, like entertaining action packed movie that uh, I don't know. It's just really fun to watch. Couldn't recommend it more. So check it out. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it was a long one. So if I was babbling, you let me know in the comments. If you enjoy the longer ones, let me know that in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one. Whew.